Hello there, my name is Vakors and welcome to OBJ and Shape Keys tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to load basic OBJ models and stop shape keys for them. But first, we'll have to talk about limitations. At the moment, VBS mod supports only loading basic OBJ models with one texture. It doesn't support materials, that means that .mtl files will be ignored. Beside that, due to the way newer versions of Minecraft render models, the performance is pretty bad with high poly models. Here is an example. So, I go to the models here, and here I have a category that's heavy. In this heavy category, there is a OBJ model that is a, basically a cube with subdivided surfaces that has 25,000 vertices. If I go to Minecraft and gonna open this category, it would be noticeably lag. So here, as you can see now, in comparison to when I pick another model, it lags. And if I pick more, and then if I copy and then paste here more and more, it would be like almost you would see it's so laggy here. This happens because all models in your version of Minecraft are rendered on the CPU. They're literally uploaded on CPU instead of being cached on GPU. There is no really easy way to cache them on GPU. At least I didn't find a way yet. So keep that in mind. Before we begin, keep in mind that this isn't a Blender tutorial. If you struggle with using Blender, please watch tutorials online. There are hundreds of YouTube videos that cover Blender from all angles. So yeah, now let's import this cool sword into BBS mod. Now let's import this model by Low Seb. It's a medieval sword model which seemed to have only one texture and it also has very low vertex count. So this should work very well with BBS mod. So download 3D model. Download GLTF model because this is a format that is very well supported by Blender. Download. Then open. Extract. Between WinRAR. And now we'll have here some files. Seeing the GLTF, it's the model itself, and there are also textures. So let's go to Blender, and then I'm gonna remove the default cube, import a GLTF, and then I'm gonna go and copy the path here and import the scene the GLTF file. So this is the model. It seems that it's located on the x-axis, which we don't really need to. Let's rotate it and uh, face it toward this y-axis, so 180 degrees. Let's see what happens with uh, the UV here. So for the model, um, I have to go and find the mesh. It has one texture as I knew, so we can also see it here in the textures that there is only one actual... These are just PBR materials files. So. The model is rotated, it's gonna be two blocks long, so it's, I think it's fine. So now, I think we are ready to export. So let's go first prepare the export thing. So, in Minecraft, in dashboard, press F6 and open models. Here, I'm gonna make sword 2, because like I already imported one, but this is gonna be what I imported the second time. So going here, uh, first I'm gonna copy the path, I'm gonna go file, export, and Wavefront BJ. I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna export it as uh, base.bj. Just you can call it actually anything, but as long as it's obj, it's fine. We don't need materials because materials are not supported with BBS mod. And the UV curtains are fine, normals, transparency has everything is good. And you can just export it. Now, if we go to the model block. We'll see the sword is over here, however it doesn't have any texture. We have to add the texture, so here in sword 2, because the texture is, let's see, where was the... here. Because the texture is JPEG, um, BBS mod cannot use it by default, however since if you installed and configured FMPEG, you can just drag and drop the file in there. And if MPEG would convert JPEG uh, texture to PNG. And now you can see that the model was successfully imported. It doesn't have the extra like details in terms of, for example, if you go here and enable like the materials, you would see that 
there's like these cool metal roughness and stuff like that. It's not really supported by VBS mod or if you want to adjust it for shaders you'd have to do extra work. However, as you can see the models was imported and I can grab it, uh, put it on the ground. I think it's it's stuck on the, on the ground so this model was successfully imported in the game. Yay! Now let's explore the basic mechanism behind shape keys. So let's create a new model that is gonna be called Spike. It's gonna be a default cube that has one shape key that allows me to make it spiky. So in Blender, here I have the default scene. Uh, first I'm gonna edit this sphere so it'd be on top and it's also gonna be smaller so it wouldn't be like so huge. I think I need to like um, translate it down by 0.5 meters or blocks or whatever. Now I'm going to subdivide it and first I'm going to export it. So as OBJ I'm going here uh, copy the path to spike and then export it as OBJ without materials. Now let's see if it was imported into BBS mode. Yes, it's here and it's exactly one block. Now all I have to do is to create a new folder over here. Shapes. And then I'm gonna copy the path. I'm gonna take the outer vertices and I'm going to scale them so that it would appear spiky. So S 1.5 in order to scale only these vertices. Now I can go and export it, wavefront, shapes, and here I'm gonna call it spike because for every file that uh, is obj in shapes folder, it would read the obj file and then it's gonna load as a shape key. So export wavefront. Uh, before I'm gonna show you, I have to say that the limitation about this uh, system is that you cannot add or remove existing vertices. You have to only modify them, like move them around or change the UV or normals. You cannot like create or remove them. So yeah, now that I have that done, I can go and edit. There is nothing. Okay, go back, F6, reload models and edit. And now you can see there is one shape key called spike. And if I change it or play around with it, you would see that it changes. So this is the basic mechanism behind shape keys. You just have a folder with obj files that are exactly the same in terms of geometry, but it has different positions of vertices, UV coordinates and stuff like that. And then you can basically have these shape keys. Let's do it with something more complicated. For more complex example, I want to turn these ice rig into the shape keys so that you could be able to use the eyelids and the eyebrows with like bends and stuff like that. This is relatively simple, so let me show you how to do that. So the process is pretty straightforward. First, I'm gonna go and I'm going to find where BBS mode is. Then I'm going to grab the the BB model from this mod, so for ice pixel one, because I also placed the BB model, so you'll be able to edit the model. So what I'm going to do here is actually take uh, the eyelids. I'm gonna first re uh, rename all of these so that in the obj file that I would import into Blender, I would have them named the same way because. If I'm not gonna rename them to eyebrow R, they would be all named as cubed, and I don't want that. So, the eyelid, uh, eyebrow L, then eyelid RB, or right bottom, eyelid LB, left bottom, eyelid RT, right top, and uh, eyelid LT, left top. So now I rename these. I can export as obj. So export as obj. I'm gonna go and place it uh, so in models layer ice 
one one pixel. So I'm gonna copy the path and I'm going to export it over here. Ice one pixel dot bj. So I'm exporting that and now here I'm going to import it. Import wavefront, then copy the path, paste the path, and obj. So here I have all I need. However, now I need to remove all of the extra stuff that I don't need, which is basically all these cubes. So all I have left is the parts that I want to turn into the chip keys. Um, so here, before I'm going to, I need text, text editor. Let's create a new one. So I'll, I'll explain why it's need to be later. So the way it's going to be done is first I'm going to take and divide these cubes into multiple parts with the loop, cut and slide tool. I'm going to do it for every one of these cubes. So this one is done again, 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 and again. Same thing goes with the rest of these. Now I'm going to hide these two and I'm gonna also repeat the same process for the top eyelids. Now all of these are done, let's save the Blender file. So I'm gonna go and paste the path and call it ice tree one one pixel. Uh, the reason I save it because I'm gonna modify the OBJ itself, but um, I would need to basically do some little modifications for the shape keys because they have a little bit of difference for every one of these so that I could be able to make them bended. Alright, so here I don't need these guys and remove them and I'm gonna export this one, this version with these names as a VJ. So export, wave front. And uh, I think I'm gonna do it as this. So now, if I go and I see the model, the only part to be here is the model from VJ. However, I want to combine this OBJ model with the rig itself because we have here anchor points, we have here some animations with uh, you know like uh, controls and stuff like that. Mm, so I want both of these. Oh, uh, BBS model allows you to have like a composite model, which is done by... Um, first, I'm going to save this model uh, in the path here. I swan pixel BB model. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove actually these cubes for eyelids and eyebrows. And now, because these are empty, the OBJ parts can occupy uh, as meshes for these eyes. So what I'm going to do is go and export as a BB model. First I'm going to save. Export. And then eyes one pixel BBS JSON. Now, as you can see, now it's the same thing. However, it's also the part of the OBJ. So now let's turn this model to use shape keys. So what I'm gonna do is in Blender, I'm gonna take all of these. So first, I'm gonna take and select the loop cut, and I'm gonna use the proportional editing in order to move this one down. So in order, let's see. So how I would do that? So first, I'm gonna go into the basically projection mode here and I'm gonna place first the 3D cursor over here. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, snap the cursor to select it. This is needed so I could bring down the part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of like make it um, big enough, uh, like small enough so it would have bends, but not exactly so it wouldn't be too bended. You know what I mean? So, I think this is good. I'm gonna look over here. 
and I'm gonna remember which values I use. 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Yeah, so I'm gonna memorize these values, and uh, so it's 0 0.26 meters and 0 0.5. So 0 0.26 and 0 0.05. Now I'm gonna take the entire thing and I'm, and I'm gonna disable the proportional editing and I'm gonna bring it down. This was eyebrow L. I'm gonna export it, refront, uh, create shapes, folder, go, and then uh, it's called uh, eyebrow, eyebrow L, and no materials. No ball CV currency. Okay, yes, good. Now, uh, now we have to undo the, the editing and do the same thing with other ones. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Select the loop, loop cut, uh, enable relative. So the proportional uh, area was saved, however, not the offset. Um, first, wait, I have to snap the cursor over here. Again, uh, Z.05. Select the whole thing. Move down without the proportional editing. And over here. And now ex I'm going to export it as OBJ. Eyebrow R. And I'll repeat the same thing for all of these. So I exported all of these names, LB, LT, RB, RT, and stuff like that. So now I have here in the shapes folder six files that are representing the bended uh, parts for all of these. I just edited them, bended a little bit, and now let's see if <laughs> it actually works. So I'm going to reload the model. I'm going to edit it. So let's see. Um, wow. It actually worked. That's incredible. I thought that I would fail on the first try. So yeah, as you can see now, the shape keys are working here. And the cool thing about this is that shape keys, you can have them as a presets and because... So basically, now I can, if I want to, I can go and save this as a sad or something like that. And it would be saved here in shapekeys.json as a preset. You can create as many presets as you want. And also, in the films, you can create this, for example, if I go and use that model. A, yes, i three one one pixel. First, I'm going to stop some camera. And then, there's a new shape keys track, which allows you to basically, like, go and animate the shape keys. So if you see, let's bring the camera closer. If you look closely, whenever I have these two shape keys, it would actually animate. And that also means that you can animate. Uh, so let's remove these guys. You can animate the pose independently from the from shape keys, which is pretty powerful. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope that this tutorial was useful and you would be able to create cool models with shape keys. This topic is very advanced, so don't give up if it doesn't work the first time. Retrace your steps and see what you've missed, if it didn't work. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye!